wrong idea here. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to settle. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Catherine Luzian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Hysterical and broad. Stay out of trouble at the moment. Yeah, yeah. You look strange and tough. There are a lot of bad in this. Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> 
and there's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers. Alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Queue for a cup of coffee right about. You're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. Yeah, I hope so. I'd like to think so. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Come back soon. Hey. It's staring.
looking for supplies, this is the place. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's <laughs> lousy selection every time. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Siegert, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. But I don't sell that ends up in trouble. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. 
wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's... I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. <laughs> I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. You don't want to pick a fight with me. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. What the? Security! 
As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Really? Huh. That might change things. I'm listening. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Hell yeah! This is awesome! Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. keep from killing each other. I just might have a good day. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive one. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the defense system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end.
Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. in the shutters. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. You expect us to climb up the trade tunnel? Well, I guess after you. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right along. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. 
I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. You have an opportunity to spare a man's life. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. Yes. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Have a nice day. Tevin and Astus has run into some trouble. Word to the wise. Something we need to discuss. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Tell us. 
us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. A sentiment that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind, or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! Hey, I need to talk with you. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. <laughs> Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starboard. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Some glints of shine in the dark. 
Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. If you are free soon... Take a break. Could we talk? Let's chat. Hmm? Do you need something? Yes, you need me. Feel free to help yourself at the bar.